show you what it takes to take care of type 4 hair and what a real wash regimen looks like. Hey, it's me, Natural Z. Welcome back to my channel where I feature my natural hair journey. As you can see, I have my hair out right now. I just did a wash day regimen and I will be posting that soon. So, as you can see, I took my braids out and I'm going to be wearing my hair in two strand twist ends for a little while. Don't know how long, but I will definitely be showing you guys my wash day regimen where I used a hair care line that I reviewed and I actually purchased the products after reviewing it figuring it would be interesting to see how those products works on my hair because they seem to be okay and the hair care line was Donna's Recipe by Tabitha Brown the sweet potato pie collection. I used the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner and that's it, I believe. Yes, because with my wash routine, it is a three-step process. So check out the video where I actually break down the ingredients in the hair care line of those products and I will be posting soon a video of me doing my wash day regimen and I'll give you my reaction to using those products on my hair. But this particular video is not going to be about that. It's going to be breaking down another hair care line. Just recently, another celebrity has launched a hair care line and the celebrity is Tia Maori. Now, if you don't know who Tia Maori is, I'm just going to give you a few specifics about her and we'll move on from there as to her hair care line, which is called For You by Tia Maori. Now, Tia Maori is an actress born in 1978, making her 45 years old. She gained recognition for her starring role as Tia Landry opposite her twin sister, Tamara Maori, in the sitcom sister sister from 1994 to 1999 and from there they've gone on to continue to work in the entertainment industry uh, having different jobs whether it's being a host on a talk show or being a featured actress on a show and in this case this particular hair care line has been launched by one of twins and that is Tia Maori. Unfortunately she's been making the news for her pending divorce from her husband what's his name? Corey Hardrick. Yeah I really don't know anything about her recent situation. I never saw the game I never saw any of her shows from the 90s, but I do remember her from when she starred in the series Sister Sister with her twin sister. Well, now it's 2023. She's 45 years old. I'm 57 years old, so I don't watch the same type of shows that she stars in. I don't watch these talk shows, so I'm not very familiar with their uh, current employment in the entertainment industry but I am aware of who they are and with that Tia Maori has decided this last year to launch a hair care line because she feels like we need another hair care line for 4C hair as a result of her needing to care for her hair now with her I'm gonna be really honest with you I am aware that with her and her sister, they are biracial. Their mother is black and their father's white. So their hair is not 4C hair. I would say with the video clips she has posted on Instagram, her hair is fairly straight. It's more on the 2A side. 
and the proof of that is when she has this particular video clip where she is shampooing her hair in the shower and when you see her wet her hair shampoo it it is completely flat when I shampoo my hair my hair is completely kinky it is not the same whatsoever so I question so I do question her hair care line being for 4C hair. She does say in her statement about who this hair care line is for, it's for 2A hair to 4C hair. I am going to disagree based on what her hair looks like when she wets it. When she wears her hair, she has hair that are considered hair goals for 4C hair women with kinky hair we're always trying to have our hair look a little bit more curly rather than frizzy and she can do that with just putting a little bit of product in her hair and it will have that curly look well you cannot do that with 4c hair and that is why i am doubting very seriously that i would ever buy her hair care line but as far as for today i'm going to be breaking down the ingredients in three particular products and the products that I'm going to be breaking down are the shampoo, the rinse out conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner. I noticed with the celebrity hair care lines they have multitude of different products besides those three main products and I'm just saying for me personally I would never buy any of those other products because they are a waste of money. You don't need these other products. You don't need the oil, you don't need the gel, you don't need the spritz. If you're looking to just care for your hair, stick with shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner, and that's it. And those are the products that I'm going to be reviewing today. Her hair care line is called For You by Tia, and I researched online that there was a press release by the company that she partnered with to make her product line and the company is called Amaris. Amaris is a synthetic biotechnology and renewable chemical company and that should be key for you when it comes to the celebrities launching their hair care lines. They do not make these products themselves. They actually go to a manufacturer and have a consultation and provide to the manufacturer what they want to have made. And in this case, she wanted to have a hair care line. And with this particular company that she partnered with to make her products, they are the ones that will provide to her the formulas for a shampoo, a conditioner, and leave-in conditioner. And what they will do is put her own unique label on the product but that doesn't necessarily mean that that product is different or unique from other products that have already been launched by different manufacturers and most of the time that is the case they are using a standard formula and all they're doing is slapping label on the product and saying that it is a unique product when it's not with these products they are not unique and in fact within the hair care line she offers two shampoos she offers two conditioners rinse out conditioners and the ingredients in each shampoo are exactly the same and in the conditioners the two conditioners are exactly the same even though each set of products have different labels on the front when it comes to the type of shampoo and conditioner that they are. And so the way I'm going to show you that is I'm going to break down the ingredients in the two shampoos, break down the ingredients in the two conditioners, and the last is I'm gonna break down the ingredients in the leave-in conditioner. So let's get right to it starting with the shampoos. And what I like to do is give you just a quick idea of how I go about breaking down the ingredients in a product. I do follow a certain process based on the Federal Drug Administration have certain requirements when it comes to 
products that are being offered to a consumer and one of the main requirements is that when it comes to ingredients the ingredients in a product must be listed in order of concentration from highest to lowest and you will not find that on the front of the label but you will find it on the back of the label all the ingredients in that particular product listed in order from highest to lowest until it reached a limit where if those ingredients only have 1% concentration in the product, those ingredients can be listed in any order. And according to cosmetic chemists, who are the ones that actually formulate the product's formula, the majority of the concentration are within the first five ingredients. So what I call this is I the first five ingredients. You will find those ingredients are the ones that are doing the work of the product. Let's go ahead and start with the shampoos. She offers two shampoos. Now this is the crazy thing about it and this is how you need to approach considering buying different hair care products. Don't look at the front label because the front label is called a marketing label. It is only featuring ingredients on the front to lure you in to buy the product. But those particular ingredients most likely are not the ingredients that are doing the work of the product. And that is the case with this For You by Tia Maori and her shampoos. And the shampoos that she has, I always have my notes. I know you guys, I always have my notes. Uh, the shampoos that she does have, one is a clarifying shampoo and the other one is a moisturizing shampoo. Now the crazy thing about it, you would think that these are two different shampoos based on the front label. Well, believe it or not, if you turn the container around, look at the ingredients label of each one, the first seven ingredients in both shampoos are exactly the same. Exactly the same. So how can one be a clarifying shampoo and the other one be a moisturizing shampoo and yet the first seven ingredients are exactly the same? You're not going to get your impact after the seventh ingredient. It's going to be within the first five ingredients. So I'm going to list both the clarifying shampoo as well as the moisturizing shampoo, the ingredients of both right here because they are the same. Starting with number one, the first ingredient to number seven, number one is water, number two is sodium methyl cocal torate, number three is sodium lauryl methyl isothionate, number four is cocamido propyl hydroxy sultane, Number five is C13-15 alkane. Number six is glycerin. Number seven is panthenol. Water is a solvent. It basically helps to mix the other ingredients together. Number two ingredient, sodium methylcocal torate. It is a surfactant. A surfactant is a detergent. It is helping to clean and wash your hair. And it is a mild surfactant. It is not a harsh surfactant. So it can't be a clarifying shampoo when you are featuring a mild surfactant as your main detergent. Then the number three ingredient, which has the third highest concentration in the shampoo, is the sodium lauryl methyl isothionate. It is another cleansing agent. It's another surfactant. It is also a mild surfactant. Number four is the cocomidal propyl hydroxy sultane. It helps to make a thicker texture to the formula. The number five ingredient in this product is the C13-15 alkane. That is an emollient. That is an oil. It's not something that is needed in a shampoo because when it comes to a shampoo, the shampoo is intended to remove dirt, remove product buildup, and remove oil. So in adding an oil to 
the shampoo is there for marketing purposes helps to also improve the texture of the formula but not there to clean your hair so those are the first five ingredients of both shampoos so in this case I would advise you to not buy both shampoos because they are exactly the same same formulas for both the clarifying shampoo as well as the moisturizing shampoo and I forgot to say this the price of the shampoos are nine dollars each which is not bad so that is what I think about the shampoo buy one or the other if you want to try it out and interested in how it works on your hair and overall the shampoos both the clarifying shampoo and the moisturizing shampoo are both are both gentle shampoos let's move on to the rinse out conditioners personally I don't use a rinse out conditioner I use a deep conditioner a deep conditioner basically is a thicker um, texture than the rinse out conditioner and in this case she doesn't offer that but she does offer a rinse out conditioner um, in fact she offers two rinse out conditioners which I am going to be there's a bug these plants over here she does offer two rinse out conditioners which I am going to be breaking down the ingredients in each one of them and just like the shampoo they both share the first five ingredients yet have different names for each one or different labels on the front but if you look at the back of each label they are actually the same within the first five ingredients and what she offers is according to the front label one is a lightweight conditioner the other one is a moisturizing conditioner it's very misleading in the sense that giving you the impression that these are two different conditioners when they're really not um, and both of them are nine dollars and ninety nine cents for thirteen ounces and um, one says a clean conditioner that detangles and gently moisturizes with added shine the other one a purpose of a rich creamy conditioner that profoundly nourishes thirsty hair but if you turn each container around and look at the ingredients label on each one and you let's say you walk into a store say gosh she has two different conditioners which one would be better for my hair first thing do is look at the back label that's where the ingredients label that features all the ingredients in that product and in both cases here each one has about 20 ingredients but again you just look at the first five ingredients in that product on the ingredients label in order to see what is doing the work of the product so in this case with the lightweight conditioner as well as the moisturizing conditioner I'm going to try and get in the middle here because both conditioners share the first five ingredients in fact it shares the first six ingredients so the first ingredient is water the number two ingredient is satiro alcohol the number three ingredient is C13-15 alkane. Number four is squalane. Number five is, okay, I'm going to try and get this out. Uh, Brass, Brassica mitopropyl dimethylamine, dimethylamine. And number six, for purposes of just reading it off, is glycerin. Now with the rinse out conditioner what you're doing is applying it to your hair after you shampoo your hair and it is there to help with re-moisturizing your hair because with the shampoo you're stripping your hair of all product buildup, dirt and oil. So your hair is stripped of its natural oils and what we need to do with 4C hair is we need to recondition our hair by adding oil conditioner moisturizing our hair again because we don't get it naturally like white people's hair and in the case of Tia Maori and I don't know her sister one of those things that I see just 
visually see is her texture is completely different than my texture of hair. Her hair looks like she needs to wash it more than not. With 4C hair, it's probably better to wash your hair less. Wash your hair every couple of weeks. With her hair, she can't do that. Her hair is very straight and it looks like it's more towards white people's hair than it is towards black people with 4C hair. I'm not knocking her hair, but I'm just saying her texture of hair is definitely not 4C hair. So I just named off the first six ingredients in each one of these conditioners that she's offering. And I'm now going to go back and just let you know what each ingredient does. Starting with water, it's a solvent. A solvent means that it is there to help mix the other ingredients in the product's formula together. The number two ingredient is satiro alcohol. Satiro alcohol is a common ingredient in almost every hair care product, every skin care product, just in every cosmetic product. And what it does is it is a conditioning agent. It has several functions. One, it is there to help make the product's formula thicker. It's there to coat the hair strands, help with moisturizing the hair, help softening the hair, help detangling, creating a curl pattern. It is a really good moisturizer. The key thing it does, it coats the hair strands. So when you wash the conditioner out of your hair, some of that satiro alcohol is still on your hair, helping to coat it and moisturize your hair. And then from there, the third highest ingredient in this product is C13-15 alkane. It's a synthetic uh, ingredient that is made in a lab and it's something about carbons and there's 13 to 15 carbons creating this emollient that helps with acting like an oil to coat your hair strands. It is a common ingredient form a protective film on the hair strands helping them slide past each other provides shine slows down moisture loss helps with detangling and then the number four ingredient is squalane that is also an emollient. It acts like an oil helping to coat the hair strands. Squalane is similar to the C13-15. And then the number five ingredient is the Brassica Mitopropyl Dimethylamine. It is a hair conditioning agent. It is a chemical compound derived from plants from the same family of flowers mustard, broccoli, and cabbage. And it works similar to fatty alcohols. It coats the hair strands. So it's another conditioning agent. Main objective is to moisturize the hair. So those are the first five ingredients. And then number six, the glycerin. That's a humectant. That is something that has very little concentration in the product's formula but it's there to help with aiding in drawing moisture to the hair. What you don't want to do is buy both products based on you thinking that one is a lightweight conditioner and the other one is a moisturizing conditioner because they both have the same exact ingredients in each of their formula. So do not buy both because you would be wasting your money and you're double buying. So that is it on the rinse out conditioner. And then the last product that I am going to break down the ingredients is the leave-in curl cream. The purpose of the leave-in curl cream is designed to amplify moisture and smooth unruly curls. In this case, the first five ingredients of this leave-in curl cream, one is water, Number two is satiro alcohol. Number three is C13-15 alkane. Number four is glycerin. Number five is pyrus malice apple fruit extract. What you've just heard me list are the same ingredients that are in the rinse out conditioner. So you're really like wasting your money if you buy both of the conditioners as well as this leaving curl cream 
I've already stated what each one of these ingredients do in the rinse out conditioner. Well, it does the same in the leave-in conditioner. The cetyro alcohol, the C13-15 alkane, number four, the glycerin, and then the number five ingredient being this extract. According to Cosmetic Chemist, whenever it says extract at the end of an ingredient, that means that it does not have any significant impact on what the product does. And then the number six ingredient is the squalane. Number seven is the brassica mitopropyl dimethylamine, whatever that is. But basically, the leave-in curling cream have the same ingredients as the two rinse-out conditioners. So I feel like there's a waste of money if you buy all of these products. What I would do is just buy the shampoo and buy the leave-in curl cream and just skip the rinse-out conditioner because it's offering the same ingredients in the leave-in curl cream. So don't waste your money on the rinse-out conditioner. Don't waste your money on buying both shampoos. Buy one shampoo, the leave-in curl cream, and call it a day. So that is my view on this For You by Tia Maori. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. And if there's any other products that you wish for me to break down the ingredients, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. This is Naturally Z signing out. Peace.